Well, the wife found out about that fish today. She's like, oh, damn, because she works in neurology. She's like, oh, don't you dare call him Botox, dude. If I have to hear Botox at home, dude, I'll kill you. So we're going to have to change his name. So I was thinking either like a Stroppy or the Hulk. The Hulk would be pretty cool because he's going to be green. So I don't know. I don't know. I kind of ran out of options. Unless you guys got a name or something like that. Think of it. Think of a really cool name for a really new green big red tear badass. It's a male. He's got a female in their name, Rose. But anyway, so leave it in the comment section below. I want your thoughts. So why not? But we got breaking news, though. Yeah, we got major breaking news. Uh, Vladimir Putin now is warning of a new world order. He's saying, he's saying, if you want to go toe to toe with us down in Venezuela, we'll bring the heat. So, you know, he's uh, Gog and Magog. He's already got, he's already got the armies. You know, he's got Turkey, he's got Iran, he's got China, dude. That's that's biblical right there, man. The armies the armies are already the the lines are already drawn in the sand or the blood or whatever you want to call it. So the war World War Three just you know, it takes a while to step up to, but once World War Three happens, all it takes is one miscalculation down there in Venezuela, one miscalculation by the United States. And the United States just got done holding a secret meeting with uh, top-level officials in the Pentagon, and they are discussing uh, plans on taking over and overthrowing because they keep getting letters from Congress just pleading for America to go in there and fucking eradicate Maduro and get him out of there and so you can bring uh, peace and stability to the people down there and put uh, Guaido in there so that way America makes a lot of money on it. See, that's how it works. See... Venezuela owes America a lot of money, and they want to make sure they get their money. So that's why America's putting Guaido in there. So, I don't know. Guaido's asking for a million people now. He needs a million-man army. So there must be a million guns coming from uh, from Europe coming down to Venezuela, like I told you about that shipment. So he needs a million people. And then he's going to rise against the fucking Maduro government alongside the United States and Israel and defeat Maduro. This is this is like Trump's goal. This is like his dream. This is what he envisions. This is what Pompeo and him talk about. So, will special forces intervene? Will these battle plans, battle plans be uh, enacted upon? Fuck. I hope not. Because they are, man. Spetsnaz is down there, dude. And so is China. So, tread lightly, man. Rush is down there, and Rush is all over our border right now, surrounding our border right now with Zircom and Poseidon missiles. So, ew. so tread lightly, Trump. I wouldn't do anything foolish. So he's he's already he's already got his armies. That's why he calls it the New World Order. This is the New World. This is the New World Power. So. World War III won't last long. It will take the Pentagon and did a simulation of World War III, and America lost its ass, entirely lost the country. Other, other than all the ships at sea, we lost the war within two hours. We lost America within about 28 minutes. It was gone, completely gone. Russia doesn't give you time to mobilize. They just fucking fire on you, and that's it. With supersonic missiles. And hypersonic missiles. It's not good. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to break this news to you. It's so early in the morning and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it kind of blew my mind, too. These, these world leaders have pretty much said, you know what? Enough is enough. I fucking had it with the U.S., and Russia's had it. You know, they've had it with us. We've had it with them, and they've had it with us. And I think the biggest bullies on the block are ready to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is ten times worse. Way worse than the Cold War. At least in the Cold War, you could at least attempt to try to shoot down their missiles. Now you ain't shooting down nothing. So if they want to push that little red button, they can push that little red button, and there ain't a damn thing you or I can do about it. 
and I'm right in Vladimir Putin's crosshairs. I know it. I know it, Putin. So, but anyway, I love you all. So, fucking war, wars and rumors of wars. Crazy days we're living in. I don't like it either. So, but it is what it is. I got to report on it. So, America is possibly thinking about intervening in Venezuela. So, militarily. So, we will see if the armies will clash. All right. Love you all.